Kev Edwards in rally here. Uh, today I just want to have a little bit of a talk and drive. Um, there was a day two live stream today, the second one, where he showcased the magnificent uh, Ford Escort Mark II. Uh, thoughts on it was that it looked really, really nice. I played through the Argentina stage again. Uh, a bit more the New Zealand stage as well. Uh, it'd be nice to if they had some of them some different stages in there but maybe they're just not created or not finished yeah i don't know um but still a lot of positives to take from it um the guy john champion uh, i think it's john champion isn't it he's one of the the rally coordinators on it uh, he was touching on how they were trying to make it as realistic as possible with the physics uh, trying to really hit home like the, the sort of reality that they're going for uh, so that's promising um, in fact let's get this going while we're, while we're here uh, yeah so that was really promising um, he's going on about the physics a lot especially with like the likes of the rear wheel drive uh, saying you know how he really wants it to sort of slide three, like you'll notice two, with this now one, go. One, ten, doesn't really slide Six, three, a lot left, five, right. this is another thing that they need to add because this gets on my tits automatically being able to select uh, where the game does it for you like the rally between uh, manual sequential and clutch because that's just one of my little minor gripes so Code masters, get it sorted. Because that is annoying. Anyway, yeah, you'll notice. You'll notice on day four, it's quite a, it's quite hard to get the car to sort of steer on the throttle. I mean, it is. It's possible with setups. Don't get me wrong, but you know, I've got. To, Mess around with it quite a bit, it always kind of wants to straighten up on you. We're looking at the looking at John Armstrong play uh, on the live stream earlier. That's hard to, uh, hard to listen to the codes I've been talking this because you don't know the stages. Um, you notice how much he was sort of he was sideways all the time. It looked really nice, uh, really impressive. Like, it looks like it was going to be like really fun to sort of drive the um, the rear wheel drive cars around. I mean, if you can get it side, you can get this sideways. It's not, it's not like that natural to do it. It's just kind of a bit of an effort. Whereas, like these escorts are sort of now for just being like awesome, just to just to steer on the throttle. Yeah, what else did they touch on? Uh, the tyre. Oh, God. Damage model as well. <laughs> they touched on. Kinda didn't really go too far into it. Yeah, didn't really say whenever it was going to be close to realistic or they kind of just wanted the guy testing the game to crash but because he's that good he just had a couple of spins and that was it although i did notice one crash and there didn't seem to be a lot of damage at all but you don't know what sort of um you don't know where they're at with it to be fair the damage on day four isn't all that bad I'm still not uh, exactly close to realistic, but I think it's a bit more punishing than day four. That's what I'm doing now, just testing fast things. This is all part, all part of the stream. Yeah, uh, what else? Time models. Um, yeah, time models they touched on, so there's going to be a soft medium and hard tyre, which we already know about. Uh, obviously a hard tyre is not going to be as grippy but it's going to last longer so if you've got like multiple stages without a surface uh, then you're going to want to be taking a hard tyre but it's going to cost you when it comes to time and then obviously mediums you're in between and your soft one's going to grip really well it's going to be really fast but it's going to wear down so 
So yeah, that's a little bit more information on that. Left five. Uh, uh, what else did they say? Uh, braking as well, they were going on about. Um, they've worked on the braking as well. And try and get the braking a little bit more realistic. Well, on this, I find I really have to play with the braking quite a lot to get it so it, it doesn't lock up on me. Um, what I found when I was first playing this, as soon as you put your foot on the brake, the wheels would just lock and you just you just spin out. It was like really frustrating. It was one of the really frustrating aspects. Stage but therefore, then. standings and stage um, times have been confirmed. Yeah, so that's good. That's trying to work on that again, trying to get that close to reality as well. And it sounds like the way they're going to do the default setups. Um, Sixty. They're going to try and. You go on a setup on this, and everything just seems to be in the middle. No matter, no matter what stage you are, it's kind of just a bit of a generic setup. It's kind, it's kind of good in a way because it forces you to have to go into the setups and play with them. But at the same time, not everyone has got the sort of knowledge or the patience to play around with a setup. So a default, default setup still should feel quite nice, really. Uh, for the people who haven't really got the time and then people who want to tinker with it and get it to a decent standard can then play it hard and try and get the cars to go faster um, what else was it uh, yeah they just touched on the handling again uh, that's obviously the most important part of it is getting that, getting that handling right um, try and get it as, as realistic as they possibly can and they do seem to be going in the right direction, definitely, I think. Um, I say the, the stream looked really good. Uh, it looked a little bit a little bit more polished, maybe, than the, than the first one that they done. It was nice to not... It's hard to judge with the front-wheel drive cars. It's hard to judge physics just by watching the screen anyway, but you can get, like maybe a bit of an idea like uh, but now they've, now they've had like a rear wheel drive car and you can see how sort of sideways it is and how naturally sort of sideways it looked like it was going as well but that is really prom promising to me um, I say with their four I think one of the gripes was that as soon as you started sliding the car was just trying to try and straighten up all the time or they'd either do that or it would just spin out on you uh, so they didn't kind of get the balance right. Crest, bridge. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what else did they do? Crest, jump, maybe, dip. That's it, really. Not a lot of, not a lot extra to talk about so far. Just that it does seem promising. Um, I was trying to ask a couple of questions on whenever the leagues are going to be available Ice. on release, and didn't manage to get that answered. So, yeah, I'm open. I'm hoping that like the multi multiplayer features and the league features or clubs or whatever you want to call it is all available on, on release. Because if if they kinda of release the game and then it's still you've got to wait months for the for the exhibits to come out, it's just gonna be frustrating. And I I think the game could suffer with it as well. Because the leagues the, the leagues attract like a lot of players. There's a lot of like baseball leagues, leagues and stuff like the one we're in, Best Auto Sport. Yeah, so by the way, if anyone wants to join the league, make sure you look at Crest Auto Sport on Facebook. Um, and it just it adds all that extra extra depth and keeps you coming back all the time as well. That's why we're still playing Dirt Rally after all these years because the league just keeps you coming back and keep competing and. Uh, keep breathing life into the game although it is kind of getting to the point now where it's becoming like a circuit racing game now because the stages are just being played that many times that's why we're so desperate for, for a new game to come out um, what else yeah I think that's pretty much it um, I think they are going to do another stream because they were meant to they were meant to showcase the Porsche 911 RGT which is that's going to be good. 400 brake horsepower on a rally stage. That's going to be uh, that's going to be like something special, lah. Um, so yeah, just a quick update on 
on where we seem to be at with the two point arm now and hopefully we it can keep on being promising and we can keep being optimistic this is going to be a great rally title come on we can just believe believe cold masters can pull it off they've done a bad game you know the, the next game's a good one they're up and down all the time so the next game's going to be good believe me <laughs> uh, yeah so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the like button and uh, notifications and all the other good stuff uh, and i'll see you again in the next video thanks for watching